Hi everyone, this is a video review of the Yocto Sun illuminated magnifier. So this is a illuminated loop. It is has three different powers, 30 power, 60 power, and 90 power illumination. It does come with instructions here. It also comes with the three batteries uh, that are already inside it. I believe they're uh, 3LR1130. Anyway, they come included so you don't have to buy them. Um, all right, so it opens up this way. And as you can see, there's the 30 magnification, the 60 magnification, and the 90 magnification magnifying glasses. And it has a little indicator right here. It says LED, O for off, and then UV for ultraviolet. And the little marker is right here right there that would point to uh, what light you have it on. So it's on the UV right there. That's the UV LED. And then as you can see when it's turned off, um, actually the other direction, O for off, and then I moved it over to the LED and those are the white LEDs. So the white LEDs are probably be more useful than uh, the UV, but uh, they're both kind of neat. So the lenses here, the 90 and the 60, they're pretty small, not the easiest to use, but let's get to magnifying. Here's a US $10 bill. You can definitely see a lot of detail. So that's again on the 30 magnification. And then for the 60 and 90, you have to be pretty close. And in fact, this case, almost even touching the lens like that. Might be too much of a glare, but um, for all intents and purposes, I use mostly the 30, 30 power magnification loop, the, the biggest lens. It's just easiest on my eyes, but sometimes if I want to get a little bit closer, I'll use the 60. To me, the 90 power uh, lens is just um, too difficult to use for me. Uh, I don't know if it is for everybody, but it is pretty um, small and hard to use. So move it over to the UV. Again, you can see the UV light on. And look at that, those little tin denomination markers pop out. Uh, that's just a security feature. You could see them with the naked eye just here. Um, but with the UV, they really pop out. And that's just one of the security features of uh, the US money, paper money anyway. And then uh, put it back on LED. So this is a 2020 penny that I recovered metal detecting. Believe it or not, I did not do that myself. That is uh, just corrosion because these newer pennies made after 1982, they have a large amount of zinc in them and they start to corrode uh, when they're in the soil. Looks like little bites were taken off by something, but I'm pretty confident that's just corrosion from uh, the zinc. And that's a uh, 2022 20, penny. In contrast, this is an actual copper penny made in 1980. Again, 1982 is when they were, I think, the cutoff for uh, pennies for being copper. This one is pretty dinged up too, but I think that's from being hit by a lawnmower and it just fell and hit the ground, so I won't pick it up. But here's a uh, Mexico coin and pretty clear detail. Um, I mean, I got this for metal detecting because I find a lot of coins and my eyes are 
don't work like they used to. So even sometimes just seeing the year of the coin, as you can see, this is a 1946. Let's see if I can get it under the uh, 60 power. There you go, 1946. And I don't know if I'll be able to get it under the six or the 90 power. No, I can't. But um, you can definitely see the it intricate design. I don't know if that's the Aztec calendar around the border of the coin. Definitely not something I'd be able to see with the naked eye or even with my reading glasses on. But uh, anyway, very neat uh, little compact magnifying glass. Folds up nice and neat. Um, so one thing I do have to be wor worried about is if I have it in my pocket, or my finds pouch. I don't want to get dirt and sand in the um, in this thing because it'll get in there and grind and uh, dirty up the lenses and stuff like that. But um, it is pretty compact and uh, you know bigger things won't fit in there. But if I keep this in my pocket or where uh, dirt would get, it would definitely make this thing uh, you know grinding and uh, maybe disconnect the battery connections or scratch up the lenses, but uh, all in all, I'm very happy with it. It's very powerful. I like that it has a LED and a UV. Um, you know, for UV, you could look at your moles and stuff like that on your scan and see if that you think they're um, suspicious or whatever. This is the battery compartment. You just pop that open and there's three batteries in there for you to replace when the time comes or I usually don't even use the light because I'm metal detecting in the daytime and there's enough light for me in the outside. So again, it's a pretty neat little tool. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and goodbye.